Du musst da meine Katschopa kohlen, na dito ako ulit sa ibang video. Pensensi na hindi ako nag upload last week. My finals ako sa school, pero tapos na ng finals, tapos na ng semester. Pwede na ako mag video. Lingo lingo. So, sa video na yung araw, I'm going to tell you guys 10 habits that I picked up while I was in Philippines that I still use today. And this is pretty much for my American viewers, all my friends that I do all these weird stuff, and now you'll know the meaning of them. So coming in at number 10, we have the lip point. Alright, so I use this all the time. I'm always like, they're always like, where, where is this thing? I'm like, it's over there. There. Where it's like, where's that? They're like, what are you doing? It's just me like, it's like the same thing. It's like saying, over there. But I'm like, point with your lips. It's very effective. Number nine is the come here wave. So here in the US when we say come here you're like come here, come here, come talk to me. But in Philippines that's like super disrespectful. They don't ever do that. They do things like this. They do it like backwards. And I do that all the time and people always look at me funny like what are you doing? I'm like come here. This is what I'm doing. So yeah that's the come here wave I always do all the time. Like come here. Not this. This is like, come at me bro, I'm gonna kick your butt! Come on, man! No, it's like this. For number eight, I've got the saying, Yun! I say it, Aro Aro Siguro. Aro Aro Ito, Yung Sinasabi Go. Yun! No? Yun! A Yun! It's just like, nice, or awesome, or sweet. Oh, there's a lot of different meanings it could be. It just depends on the situation, just like, alright. A yun, a yun, like you discover something like a yun. Stig number seven, we got the word diba. So everyone is me. I see this a lot. Diba, it just means right. I'm like, oh, that's awesome, diba. Like diba, a stupid thing that they always say all the time, and I always just like pick up on it. I always saying diba, 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 diba. Number six. Okay, now this one is super weird to Americans. Okay. So when you don't hear something in Philippines, or you're like, like when you say like what here in America, like what, like say that again, Filipinos just do this. Just like open their mouth really wide and just, it just means what. So I do that all the time, I was like, and then I was like, what, what are you doing? So yeah, that just means what, okay? Just a weird habit. We got number five now, we got the word hala, which means Frankly, an exclamation point. I even got the brother to use this word a lot. It's like, hello? Like, you're shocked or you're scared or whatever, anything. It's just like, hello? Like, what is that? Hello? Hello? Whatever. Use it all the time. Number four. I use this with my kapatid all the time. So if Jake is in a crowd of people, I do this. I go, sweet! It's like the Filipino like get your attention kind of thing. I do it to Jake all the time. He can be in a crowd of people and I can just get his attention just going, sweet! He'll come right to me, he'll look right and try to find me all the time. I'm really good at training, it's like a dog. <laughs> For number three, we got the eyebrow raise. So it mainly, when people just write their eyebrows in Philippines, it just means they're agreeing or yes. So you're like, Kaden, do you want to go to the store? And it's like, I'm always it. That's like just silent. Just looking at you and just be like, just whatever. It means yes. I am saying yes to what you're saying. Just not open my mouth. I'm just frankly doing it with my eyebrows. Number two Filipino habit that I have I am freaking addicted to rice. Kanin. Hindi aro aro, nun aro aro, pero I try to lay off of it because he's nagging my rice chen ako ayoko yen. When I go to some like restaurant that has rice, I ate way more rice than actual ulam or like topping. So if we have like kung pao chicken and rice, I eat like three times the amount of rice compared to the chicken. It's just nuts. Like I'm just always on the rice. Like who needs that big of ulam? When you've got so much rice, it's the more feeling part. Why do you need so much to spend so much on meat when you have like not that much to spend on rice? And just get the rice. The rice will make you full. 
It's great. It goes with almost every single food. My number one thing I do all the time is the word sigi and sigi na. So sigi just means like, okay. And sigi na, this is the weird thing. In Philippines, I was like, sigi na, kaya, sigi na ate, sigi na, sigi na. It's like, what is that supposed to mean? Is that like nagging? It's like, it kind of is, but it's like, they're just trying to like get you to do something. It's like, come on, come on, you do it, please, come on, come on. It's like, sigi na, even though it means like, okay now. I don't know how they translate those two things, but whatever, that's what they do. Like, sigi na, let's go, let's go, sigi na, sigi na, sigi na. All right, guys, those are my 10 things that all my Filipino traits and habits that I picked up in the Philippines and that I use every day here in America, almost every day, I should say. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe to my videos. Um, share these videos on Facebook, Instagram, kaita ano, kaita an. Tell your friends. Malapit na ako mag 5,000 subscribers. Salamat sa inyong lahat. So support tahan. Next week, siguro mag vlog ako maging part 2 ng Filipino versus American lifestyle. My brother is going to be the American, si Jake. And we have a lot in store for you guys. It's going to be super funny. So make sure you guys look to that next week. And until then, we'll see you all next time.